In this week's video, we dip our toes into the world of photography for miniatures. What up, mini family? Taking photos of our minis has been something that has puzzled war gamers for eons. With a decent amount of bad advice floating around on the web, Two hours later. You see posts to forums and Reddit all the time with titles like, sorry for the potato quality, but could you criticize this please? It's pretty hard to give any kind of comments when there's enough grain in your photo to feed the majority of Malaysia. Photography has always been an interest of mine and in this video we're going to go over the bare minimum tools you need to get high quality photos of your minis and also a few tips and tricks. First, let's go over the essential tools. Obviously you need a camera to take pictures with. This can be something as simple as a smartphone or a point and shoot camera or as complicated as a DSLR. While virtually any camera could work for this situation, you wanna make sure your cameras have one of two features. One, a low focal range. This allows you to get closer to your miniature while still maintaining focus, and closer is better. We wanna be able to see all the small details. This sometimes manifests itself as a macro mode on point and shoot cameras or a macro lens on DSLRs. Most smartphones have lower focal ranges conveniently. Two, high resolution photos. If you can't get super close to your miniatures, that's fine as long as you can zoom in and post and retain a lot of details. Some basic tips that I have regarding cameras is to keep your lenses clean. Make sure any glass in front of or the lens itself has no specks or dust on it. Those kinds of things can really mess up our photos, especially if we're zooming in in post. The next tool I would suggest is a light of some kind. Oftentimes, the light you use to paint with would be okay, but if you're finding that they don't perform very well, taking photos outside, especially during cloudy days, will yield awesome results. The sun is a fantastic light source. If it's colder outside and you still want to use the outside light, consider placing your miniatures in front of a window and getting a piece of reflective material to bounce the outside light where you want it so your models are evenly lit and not casting any harsh shadows. If you do want to use your painting lights, my one tip would be to make sure that you're using all the same bulbs in your fixtures. Mixing lights and oftentimes different color temperatures can lead to some bad photos, so try to avoid that and use all the same bulbs. If you have any mismatched ones where you can't interchange the bulb, just leave it off. If you're finding that your light source is casting hard shadows on your miniatures, be it the sun or your lights, try placing a piece of reflective material under your miniatures. What will happen is the light that is coming down will reflect back up into the recesses of your miniatures, lighting it more evenly. Finally, I would say that the last tool you need is some kind of backdrop. A backdrop is any kind of material you can place behind your miniature to complement it. It removes distractions from the background, so your main focus is the miniature. This can be a piece of fabric, some paper, or some cool thing you make in Photoshop and print off at home. My tip regarding this backdrop would be to get something that's not reflective. You want your lights to not cause any hot spots on this backdrop, drawing attention away from your mini. You can place your miniatures on the backdrop by curving the backdrop, or you can get some distance between the miniatures and the model itself and elevate the model. The former is easier, whereas the latter allows you to do cool effects like infinite black backgrounds, which we'll go into detail about in advanced photography videos. Now that you have all your tools, it's time to take some pictures of our miniatures. I find it nice to take photos at the level of the miniature's eyes and frame it in the middle of the picture. This isn't a hard rule, just try to get close. The closer to the miniature you can get without cutting off bits and pieces, the better. Try to stabilize your camera either with something like a tripod or bracing it against a book. If you can remotely take the photo without needing to press a button on the camera, try to do that. If you don't have that functionality, just press the button really slowly and delicately. After that, we should have our photos and now we can do some optional editing. Zoom in a bit with your favorite photo editor. Adjust the rotation and maybe fix the brightness in case it's too dark. I wouldn't fiddle around with too much unless you know what you're doing. Teaching the full landscape of editing photos is out of the scope of this video and frankly it's not really necessary. A little bit of framing and rotation and exposure adjustment is all that I would do for basic photography. That's it. Now you should have some photos to show off to your friends or your painting heroes for feedback and advice on how to improve. In the future we're going to be going over more advanced photography 
discussing things like exposure or aperture, ISO, white balance, what makes good lights, and other tips and tricks for backdrops. Do you guys think I missed any advice that a beginner would need for photography? If so, leave it in the comment section below. But for now, let's look at the community highlight for this week. This week we have Nick shared Nick's amazing Space Marine. The moment I saw this, I thought of Roman Lapat. The battle damage is so amazing, and look at the display base. This is some awesome award-winning stuff. Thanks for the submission, Nick. If you want to see pictures of your miniatures at the end of a video, check out the description below. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, but more importantly, go paint some minis. So the premise here is pretty simple. We're going to drink two beers and then take one shot of bourbon and then we're going to try to paint a Nurgling in... How to paint leather. It really is a fantastic resource of information. Additionally, there's also tons of great video references on YouTube. If your miniature is white, use a black brown and so forth. A black brown. That's my favorite kind of black background. What up, mini family? Photography has been something that has been... Slow down. It's a video about photography, discovering things. Advanced video, discovering things like exposure. Discovering, not discovering, we're discussing. Son of a gun. That's it. <sighs> I sounded angry.